during first hour after meal food is intensively absorbed in small intestine first carbohydrates are absorbed and they absorb as a simple sugars like glucose galactose and fructose and glucose level spikes its first spike and uh, it is called postprandial spike after two hours glucose absorbed by cells and insulin level also spiked uh, after end of two hours glucose level starting to decrease and excessive glucose which is not absorbed by cells are converted to glycogen into liver and stored after four hours digestion is almost completed and four to six hours almost in any person digested is completed already insulin and glucose decreased and if after glucose absorption and after converted to glycogen and stored into liver and muscles glycogen if still there is glucose excessive glucose it is stored in fat cells as a fats so during this period four to six hours excessive fat are stored after six to twelve hours it is called early fasting after six hours there is no glucose from the food we ate that's why glycogen starts um, to burn it means glycogen is converted to glucose uh, in the liver uh, and we have glucose from glycogen uh, it is called glycogenolysis uh, and glycogen becomes primary source of energy at this stage fats also burn so when we saying that primary source is glycogen it does not mean that there is 100 percent glycogen and zero um, uh, fat burning fat burning is called uh, called uh, lipolysis uh, so <clears throat> we have some degree but lower lo lower percentage uh, lipolysis uh, or fat burning and we have uh, glycogen breakdown to glucose and we still have normal level of glucose in the blood because because of glycogen glycogen reserves we have around 400 calories of glycogen in the liver and we have uh, 1600 calories in the muscles but this liver glycogen is used primarily not um, not uh, muscle glycogen muscle glycogens are used during exercise and movement <coughs> so uh, after 6 to 12 hours we already starting uh, early fasting stages and we already starting very early signs of ketosis uh, and people can feel uh, fatigue hunger headache during this period <coughs> because uh, glycogen level is depleting um, so uh, body starting to burning fats that's why the symptoms can occur at this stage and glucose level is low also at this uh, period <coughs> after um, after 12 to 18 uh, hours it is it's also part of early fasting and glycogen uh, reserves already depleted at this period usually it's depleted but for some persons glycogen can last for 24 hours sometimes more but in most person in 18 hours after eating <coughs> there is no glycogen already and body starts to burning um, fats and ketosis becoming primary source of energy ketosis is in liver uh, liver uh, liver converts fats to ketone bodies <coughs> fats to ketone bodies and these ketone bodies are burned that's why it's, it's called ketosis and ketosis already started uh, by 18 hours um, after uh, 18 to 24 hours uh, 
body already is in ketosis in most cases of course and autophagy also in maximum level autophagy is it's it's like cleaning our body from waste our body has function and ability to clean uh, our body from damaged cells and damaged cell parts and this process is called uh, autophagy it means uh, our immune system cells eating um, waste products of our metabolism uh, which are damaged dna damaged protein damaged enzymes uh, cell parts cells damaged cells and uh, they absorb this wasting products and they clean our body it is called autophagy so one of the most important characteristic of fasting is autophagy <clears throat> there's two actually there's two main reason people uh, is fasting first is weight loss second is autophagy that's that's all that's that's why most people is fasting and so autophagy is very important and autophagy also has its sta stages and um, autophagy happens uh, anytime but autophagy level uh, autophagy levels are low during for example after six hours of eating but it's it's starting to increase after 12 hours and uh, after uh, 24 hours it's already maximum level and from 24 to 48 hours it's already starting decrease so peak is around 24 hours so best time uh, if you want autophagy it means you should you should fast at least 24 hours uh, after uh, 72 hours uh, autophagy is already low level so mm, i think uh, best period of time uh, to uh, fast is uh, two or three days or uh, 48 days uh, 48 hours it's optimal i think uh, maybe slightly more it depends on person of course uh, that's all i wanted to say if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now